Good morning, y'all. We've got a new project starting today. I'm going to give you the rundown. We got the old Kubota fired up. She's warming up, getting up to speed. We're working here on an old farm. Our task today is we have to take this here green bin. We've got to get cleared out from around it so we can get some access. This old homestead, farm place. Got some pretty nice old barns on it. Everything looks like still, you know, it's got some age on it, but it's in good shape. Got Scogan here, he's jumping on the machine, getting ready to get started. We got to get here, get cleared out all around this uh, drain bin, get it opened up. So we can access it. We got to pick, pick the pin up somehow. We gotta, don't want to go through all that time and effort of taking it apart and having to reassemble it. So we're going to get us some access. Pick the, pick the pin up. We go up through. Somewhere through this gate area here, carried about 300 yards through the field up there to where that new barn is. So, he's going to get started working with the machine in, tear out some of this old fencing, get some pivot out of the way. We can get around this thing, see what kind of foundation we all got, see what we're going to do about lifting it. Not exactly sure how we're going to do it yet, but it's probably going to be lifting it a little bit at a time, one side to the other, crib it, kind of get it up in the air. And we'll see about sitting it down on a trailer or something. So we can up through that field. Best access is probably going to be I'm going to have to come down this road here, maybe up through one of those gates or something. That's an old iron uh, pole shadow working pin there, so we're not going to go through the trouble of cutting all this iron, iron gate apart. This is like some Texas style fencing. You don't see a lot of this in Georgia, but that's some old well drill pipe. They do a lot of that out Texas, out west. We don't see this too much here in Georgia, but that's pretty cool. Probably some old water well pipe. They coupled it together, welded it up, got them a nice working pin. This was probably an old stock pin they had around this grain bin at one point. Privet's done taking over and grown up. So. We'll set the camera up, watch the machine work for a minute, get some of this opened up, update you on the plan later. So we've got a little update here on what we're working with. We're not grain bin experts by any means. We didn't build this thing. This thing's been here for years, so we don't have a clue exactly what's going on. But you can tell inside this grain bin, it's got a nice floor. And I don't know if y'all can see it with all the shadows and everything, but it's got a little bit of a skirt going all the way around the outside of the floor. The skirt comes off the wall, covers up part of the floor structure. We got a little access hole up underneath here. Look up underneath the bin. The floor system is basically just some concrete blocks and boards. Uh, it's not really attached, it's just a, you know, foundation system, just like you'd see kind of in a house. At least have the opportunity for some air movement. We're tired of smelling all the uh, 40, 50 years of rat pee and urine and who knows what else is in there. So he's brave enough to climb the old ladder and get a hatch up. Let some heat out, get some airflow moving through there. Maybe make this job a little nicer. I know the shadow is going to mess this video up. But you can see we're going down through here, pulling this inner skirt out inside this grain bin.
attention and we don't have to take all that up. That doesn't look like any sort of ground anchor. That's just double bolted with the Just get a section of this out. Yeah, that's good. Oh, if we got, uh, we can unscrew this panel here. Yeah, let's do it. Just uh, take these screws out. Get a, get a Phillips bit like a regular impact driver. I got you set back up. We're going to give you some shots here. We've got a new game plan. We're going to saw it all around the outside of this thing. We're going to move the cap off the top. We're going to be picking this thing up with a big lull later today. So, y'all uh, y'all just enjoy some of the footage. We'll give you a little bit of a view from a distance. Watch this work. All right, y'all, we're getting business. So, show you what we found up here. We started looking on the inside of this thing. You can see it's kind of got a bottom ring with a little bit of a lip. There's a bunch of tar going around the outside of this thing. You know, if we were more farmers and knew a little bit more about grain bins, we'd have found this out a lot quicker. But here's our ground anchors. It's got a little angle plate bolted to the side of the bin, got rebar or small thread, something, in the concrete pad. That one's bent over, but this one's in good shape. You can see it's still sticking up in the air. And it used to have a plate that come from that bolt right there over to the anchor on the side of the bin. We popped a lot of this tar loose, run a sawzall blade up through there, kind of drug it around about half of this thing, and it's all free, it's ready to go. So, game plan. Right over there behind that area, we got a big semi-truck tire and wheel. We're going to use that tire and wheel as like a plug, put a chain through it. There's a cap center of that bin. We'll get that cap out of the way. We got a big telehandler coming to the job site. We're going to lower a chain down through the center of that roof. We will chain to that tire and wheel. That tire and wheel is wider than that hole is. Put the chain around that tire and wheel, pick it up in the air. It'll hit that roof, use the lull, pick this thing right up off the plate. We got to get it up about two, three feet to clear all these cinder blocks and wood flooring and everything. We're going to leave the rest of this floor in place because we don't see where it is really attached to that false floor at all anywhere. So we're not going to do any more work than we absolutely have to. 
with this unit all in one pull. Pick it up using that tail handler. We're going to be able to pick it up high enough to clear all the fencing and everything. You can see the new house up there on top of the hill. They got a new barn built over there. We're going to come right down through here to this gate area. Pass a little bit of a mess, but got another gate up there. That gate will open up and we're going to drive it right up. And they got a spot picked out to set it down up there near that new barn. It's a beautiful piece of property out here, y'all. The greatest part about coming out here and doing outdoor work. You know, it's hot, it's sweaty, it's tough work, but it's better than sitting in an office any day because we get some of the prettiest scenery to work in. Always get something new, cool to look at. Get to work outside in God's country. There's nothing better. So right now, the uh, rental company, they had a flat tire. Lowell was supposed to have already been here by now, but they're held up a little bit. So we're just kind of sitting around waiting. It's one downside to doing this type of work is we have a lot of downtime, time to kill. You're always waiting on something. You're waiting on a delivery. You're waiting on a load. You're waiting on a piece of machinery to show up. You're waiting on somebody to make their mind up on, you know, what they're going to do. It is what it is, so we'll get some time to relax. So we'll pause the video right here. We'll wait for this piece of machinery to show up. We should have everything prepped, ready to go. Hopefully we've thought of everything, which we haven't, but hopefully we have. And it's going to be as simple as just getting this thing picked up and towed it up through this field and set down where the homeowner wants it. So we'll see how that goes. Be back with y'all shortly. We're in business now. Finally got the mill here. We're rolling this big tire over here in the place. Got the green machine. So to recap, the plan is we're going to take the cap off the top of the drain bin. Use the lull. We're going to raise up. We're going to lower a chain down through the top of the drain bin. We're going to chain up that big tire, lower the chain all the way down to the bottom of the grain bin, we'll chain the tire up, pick the tire all the way up to the top of the grain bin, so it'll jam up against the roof, we'll put something in the chain to hold it in place, take, take the slack out of it, and then we'll be lifting the grain bin up off the foundation and transfer, transfer it from there. So, that's plan A, hopefully we're going to be able to stick with plan A. And we won't be making any changes. So, I'm going to set y'all up. Y'all going to watch from the distance and see if we can't make this happen.
flush with the top of the drain bin. I'll show you what, you, what we're working with inside here. There's our tire. Almost to the top, but we pretty much maxed out on our boom. You can see that thing's way up in there. So, oh, Bowman, he's rigging everything off. You barely see it, but we got a crowbar spanning across the top of that hole. We just rigged a, a secondary chain to the tire and the wheel that's going to support off of that crowbar across the top of the hole. We're about to let the slack off now from our chain on the wall. Slacks off tire chain, tire holding. So we got that suspended. We're letting slack off. We're going to lower that boom down tight to the top of the grain bin. Get the forks back closer. Take all the slack out of that chain. Tie it off to the forks and everything. And then we'll be able to do the actual lift. Once we get the slack out of that chain, we'll be able to pull that tire and wheel tight to the top of the grain bin and then it should pull loose from the ground and we'll be able to start toting this thing. So, key to this kind of stuff, move slow, move with a purpose. He is slowly pulling that boom back down, just nice and easy. You get in a hurry, it's when stuff starts getting real sketchy. So, slowly but surely, getting it down. Look at the concentrations. Ice in his veins. He's not worried. These machines, they're kind of hard to work with. The geometry of these booms and stuff is, you can't ever move in one consistent direction without moving two different ways. So as you retract your boom and lower it, it starts moving off center. So we pull the boom down and lowered it, then the chain gets off center. You boom out to center it back up, then it gets higher, so then you gotta lower it down on the cylinder. So it's, it's hard to move because you've got to move in a couple different directions all at one time. Just based on, you know, the lift is a radius lift, so it won't lift straight up in the air, it lifts up in a radius. And the boom goes straight out, so you've got to balance that running the machine to keep everything kind of centered up. And again, you're, you're doing two different functions at one time, so it's kind of hard to keep control at and keep everything moving consistently in a line. So it takes some time, the slower you work, the better it is, you can make, always better to make smaller adjustments than to try to get into a hurry. Hey! Shouldn't we just, hey, take the slack off on the forks! Unhook it from the forks and wrap it around the forks. Don't try to rechain the tire. Oh, you done took it loose from the tire.
Why do I hey, why do I take the leaf from the wheel? Oh. Uh, yeah, I got you. That's it. Yeah. Yo. Loop underneath what? Keep it as centered as possible. No job goes through without some minor adjustments. No problem. Well, we're almost ready. Hopefully this will be the final lift here. Putting the final touches on it. It's a little sloppy here. Yeah, we're live. I mean, we we'll always cut it out later if we want to, but... No. Probably can. You gotta have a low boy at home. Uh, yeah. This thing weighs 30,000 pounds. Does it really? That's got a big old chunk of iron. Yep. That explains why we're letting up the ground so bad right now. I'm concerned about that, to be honest with you. How much you having that grain bin weighs? Four or five. give you a point of view shot for what you see operating one of these things. You kind of work blind. Scoving, you want to be on camera? Nope. No, he said no. Turning down his 15 minutes of fame. We had, a, we had a crowbar in the mix. The crowbar that we used as support over the top to hold the tire up while we took out a slack. We had rigged it up to where it was still kind of part of the mix and 
decided to back away from that plan just to, uh, you know, just a little sketchy. So we got the crowbar out, uh, got it chained up a little bit better to where we can better balance it in the center of the hole, make sure we get a better uh, lift out of it. So stylizing that up now, we'll be ready to pick her up here in just a second, hopefully.
Yeah, we were worried about the uh, ground sinking, so let's a little bit, see if the converter will get it out. through the field.
engage. I'm coming straight ahead, correct?
boom out because this thing's trying to pivot around my machine. You follow me? It's trying to pivot around my machine. Over here by me. Hell no, spin it. Not yet. I can see through the back this hole back here. I'm spinning it yet. No! 